again everyone welcome to another exos heroes video right now we have here bernadette she's dropping in a couple of hours from my time zone so let us try to review this character and um, see if uh, she's a go or no go for any pulls that you have or for any zest that you have there so well, let's see Character design is pretty much very good. Um, her attack is pretty much low, and most of her stats are pretty much low. So I'm not sure if um, if uh, she fits right in with the current meta. But by the way, I think um, her burst damage will fit right in. But um, I think. For the most part, she will have a hard time with uh, Iris in PvP. So let's go through her skills. So her first skill is Man Utilization 3. So it's her passive effect. So this is to increase her mana count. And uh, based on her allies' mana count. So gain 1 mana if allies' count is at 10 or more on own, own turn. And the next is gain mana if enemy's mana count is at 10 uh, or more on, on a turn. So this is basically um, basic mana utilization skill. Her next uh, skills are the same as her, her regular, regular um, form, which is Dragonite Blessing, Head Dragonite. And recently... Uh, what is this? Flap flap, <laughs> flap flap, um, which turns um, your enemies into rubber duckies for three turns. So it this this is usually applied when you apply a buff to to Bernadette. So a, a removable removable buff, which has a positive effect. And her last passive skill is Summer's Blessing. So when the battle starts, grants frost damage immunity one time to all allies. Can't be stacked. So this is the same skill that she is going to have a problem with when she fights with other, other Summer Festa characters. So uh, it's unfortunate that she is frost. And... Um, Let's see her A1. So her A1 is Summer Frost Fang. So it's similar to her basic form. It's, I think, increased just a bit. And her Summer's Genius Frost Witch, which is same as well with uh, 3 mana casting and a burst damage. And deals 108% damage to all enemies. So this is kind of the same with her previous skill um, it's just a bit increased because of the fate core so would you pull for her um, for me I don't think she is worth the pull based on the current PvP um, method that, that we have in which um, she will really have a trouble um, confronting Iris even the current battery setup um, has a have is 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 kind of um, having trouble in penetrating Summer's blessing. It has to attack for a second time, just to just to get rid of Summer's blessing. So, I think um, uh, currently she's not really viable. But if you love her character that much, um, especially her fate core design. Um, you can actually, I think, use her for PvP. So, again, because um, uh, she is a Black Fate core, so she can be pitted for 19 core mileages. So, you need to pull her 19 times just in case uh, or to guarantee you getting her if you don't get her within 19 pulls. So, what else do we have here? So she has a 0.7% fate core chance increase. So again, guys, 
check the banner before you pull. So that is just a reminder of 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 uh, uh, making sure that your 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 chance increase is really uh, is really being applied to this banner. And also, she has a exclusive weapon, so her glowing candy bar. This looks nice, honestly. And um, this is also too expensive to pull, considering that I think what you need to pull for this is also 700 zes and also 19 mileages. So all in all, um, my opinion um, with Valentina coming in probably a month. I'm sorry, I'm not a month, but a week from now. Um, I think this character just came in at the wrong time. So if you are, if you are, you know, wanting to have this character because if she's your favorite character, then, then be my guest, pull for her. But right now in our current PvP meta and uh, the way that the game has changed in a cup in in the last few months actually it's been a last few weeks because the game i think uh was launched globally in asia for less than three months so in the last few weeks the meta shifted so dramatically that the that that uh if bernadette was released probably a month before or or a month and a half before she would have been very viable um, uh, with the PvP back then, or even with the campaign. Because when 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 new players started, she was one of the characters that helped you through the campaign. So, but right now, with a lot of characters coming out, with a lot of options coming out, she has become less viable, even for even for character of sorry even for players that uh just started recently so again guys um i don't think she is a good pull right now for her banner so i think i'll i'll wait for um i'll wait for valentina for the next banner but I'll try to sneak in a couple of pulls, probably one, two, or three, just to you know try my luck. And as usual, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And always take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.